Cherry Bomb is Tyler's third studio album in the Goblin Wolf trilogy and his most hated. Released on April 13th, 2015, two singles, Death Camp and Felix Young slash Perfect, started the album's rollout. Unlike his previous work on Wolf, this album didn't do nearly as well, selling only 51,000 copies in the first week. The production on this album is crazy, weird, and unique. Many songs like Death Camp, Run, and Cherry Bomb utilize heavy, distorted guitars, synths, or basses, giving a dirty feel to the tracks. Other songs like Blow My Load, Two Seater, and Find Your Wings use many more airy synths, guitars, and pianos. These tracks are getting closer to the talent we know on his next three projects. And songs like Smuckers utilize old soul samples, heavy horns, and banging drums. You could tell that this was an experimental project for Tyler because of all the different genres and production styles he used on it. And that is probably the main reason why most people don't enjoy it as much as Wolf because it's not as much of a cohesive project. I like the album. Not every song is great, but there are some good cuts. I give the album 3 mics out of 5. Now let's get into the breakdown. Okay, okay, what's good everyone? I'm back with the third episode in the Tyler the Creator series. This one's for Cherry Bomb. Y'all saw the intro. Those intros. I'm really liking them. They're fun to make, so I don't really know if it has a Cherry Bomb vibe, but I listened to Cherry Bomb, the album, and then I made a beat. So I guess it's inspired by Cherry Bomb. Who knows? But let's break it down. Okay, so I was listening to Smuckers a lot. Wanted inspiration from that. Effing Young slash Perfect. Blow My Load. So I was taking inspiration from those. Started off with this piano. Yeah, so basically, got these bass notes on the D. Oh, pause. Was just playing around on my Akai, figured out that melody. So then I built chords on top. Of it. Started with the same bass notes as you can see here, but with chords on top. This is like a D minor seventh, but then with the D on top. Then this chord is like a C. I don't even know, but I built chords that I thought sounded on good on top of these notes. Sometimes you don't have to always follow the same 7th and 8th and not even ninth, all that stuff. Just try to place some notes in some places you think seem good and play around with it. That's what I did for this. This chord, pretty cool. It has like a suspenseful feel. Thought it sounded good. Then followed these bass notes. This downward melody is three octaves built on top of each other then i added this c minor with the c on top and then this b minor with the b on top and basically followed these with the chord for the piano the same piano i usually use in flex a stock plugin pretty good y'all should use it steinway d for the piano the effects i added some reels to make it sound realer sound goodizer to make it sound gooder <laughs> And Valhalla Supermassive to make it add reverb. Yeah, I don't have a funny pun for that one. Before the effects and everything, this is what it sounds like. And I was. Just gives it a little bit more texture. So I have this pulsing brass from Solania. Go to all types, brass, pulsing brass. So same chords and everything except for the build up here. It's like A, B, and C sharp. Next is another Solania instance. I think this is strings. So just utilizing the chords, everything's muted, I'm kind of dumb. Exact same chords we used in the other presets, but this time it's just the chords, none of the extra melody stuff. This preset is called Oxygen 5, next is the bells. So. So the chords have a descending feel to it. So it starts on the D, then it goes to the C sharp, then it goes to the C, then it goes to the B. This is like chromaticism or something like that. And then I built on top of the chords using the notes in the chords to build this arpeggiated kind of feel with the same bass notes. And this bell is from Nami, One Shot Kit, One Shots, Bells. This one is the Glockenspiel. Added some effects to it like reverb and timeless. Timeless is a delay plugin by Fab Filter. Pretty cool. 
and some supermassive with the splashy space preset and the mix knob down to 58% with the, without the effects not as not as good all these melody parts together has like a bounce to it nextly is that even a word nextly <laughs> probably not I added this another arp I use my Korg mini lock as you can see right here lifting up is probably not a good idea but I'm doing it you're welcome yeah played the same chords and added a little texture on top I added a lot of effects so before it sounded like that but I want it to sound dirtier so I added some sketch cassette outer space phone call some Juno 6 give it some chorus you hear it has some stereo separation some fab filter EQ cut out the lows and then some pancake to pan it next I added a bass similar to the glockenspiel use an arpeggiated feel copying the same notes pretty sure when i was making the full beat i started off with this i'm not i not 100 percent sure but i think i started off with this and then built everything off of it it's kind of like the backbone of everything so so far this is everything we have <laughs> Maybe turn up the bass a little bit, you know? Next, I added two more things. Um, added some vocals. Let's turn off all the effects. Don't roast me in the comments. This is the raw vocals. La, la, la. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah uh so i added a lot of effects to it <laughs> my vocals aren't horrible but they aren't the best you know so added some effects to it melodyne auto tune access added some wider to make it wider added some supermassive to add some reverb some eq the glue this is a really good compression plugin i've started using and then pancake to pan it play vocals right using the same chords and this is basically all the melody parts together for the first section I'm thinking the vocals could be up a little bit more yeah and then this is the verse part I added another lead from or arp or something from my Korg mini log um, I just played out bum bum ba dum bum bum ba dum bum 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 ba dum bum bum ba dum bum Using the same notes in each chord. This has also a lot of effects on it called a bouncy thing. Um, without the effects this is what it sounds like. Pretty similar but then you add the effects. Timeless vibes. Chorus. Super massive. Small plus wide. And then pancake to pan it. For the drums, I added hi-hats, kicks, snares. The hi-hat has a little off-kilter feel, right? These second notes, I shift them off beat a little bit. Pretty much all the same thing. I should have done this, all R, and randomized them a little bit, just to give them a little bit more difference so it's not all the same. All these drums I'm pretty sure are from the Lunch 77 Tyler the Creator drum kit. Cause I'm making a Tyler the Creator beat. Added the snare from Smuckers. And then over here near the end I added a little drum fill. Or a turnaround. And took out the snares. This is the snare roll and I added um, a kick not a kick roll but kicks you know added some effects and then some more crashes reverse and then another riser
That little pause adds a lot of stuff to it. Like, just makes it more bouncier. And then we transition to the bridge. <laughs> As I said, when I was making this beat, I was too high, too high. But it adds a lot. It's kind of fire, right? So I added me saying to the bridge layered three times. To the bridge. The lower one, this next one. To the bridge. Right? It basically, as you can see here, the automation turns up the pitch 24 semitones, so two octaves up. The last layer is this one. Um, to the bridge. It's my normal one pitched up and up. All these together sound like this. To the bridge. A super cool effect. The transition to this part is so sick. So sick. Listen to this. Y'all, <laughs> I've been listening to this beat so many times just for that transition. It's that transition <laughs> about a main read. Do some stuff. What do you mean by that? Damn, it's so sexy. Oh my goodness. That transition is so fire. Let me hear it one more time. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Uh. Damn, damn. Uh, yeah. That that's the transition. Yeah. Wow. I pitch everything down five semitones and use a different chord progression. So it's not the same progression as this. Um, where it's D, C, C sharp, D, B, and all that. It's a different chord progression. I made the chord progression five semitones up, then pitch it five semitones down. As I said before in some of my videos, if you're transitioning to different sections. A fifth is a good way to do it. A G major seventh, right? And then an A major seventh, G major seventh, then these two chords. This is a, a minor seventh, and then just an A minor with the A on top. So it's like ba ba. So we use the A major and A minor in this, which is kind of cool. I don't know how the theory of that works, but it works. And this sound has no effects on it. I guess it's bust to the melody. I'm not, I can't add that meme again. I do it too much. I do it too much. Y'all don't know what meme I'm talking about. <laughs> Whenever I say buzz, okay, never mind. But yeah, every all the melody parts are buzz with the melody with the fab filter that cuts out the lows and the stereo separation is on. The bass are on this deconstruction thing which adds some distortion. Drums are on this with the glue to compress all the drums, and the vocals have fab filter to cut out the lows and the glue to basically glue them all together. So everything's rooted to those, and then those are rooted to the master track. So we have that layered with this. Uh, this one's fire too. This is the I think lead from a Tyler song, I think, you know, this is a very fire lead. I turned up the frequency because it used to be like that, turned down the frequency. So it's a little more cut off, subdued, added some effects to it before it was like this. And then added some effects to it so it was even more cut off and subdued. Chorus, Pancake, Panic, for Valhalla, Supermassive, I added the Space Verb 1999 preset. Then I added this String Arp. I was spending way too long. I was, I heard something in my head. I was trying to replicate it exactly. And I don't know how I did it, but I made this like just by clicking in the notes, trying to figure something out. Da, 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 da. And then this note from that, happens at the same time as that first note. I don't know, I thought that was kind of cool. And then, so that's basically how it goes. Then I added these vocals. This time it's the ah preset. Now they're going, using the same chords. For the strings, pan them to the right a little bit, added some Valhalla Supermassive, Space Verb 1999, and Pancake. All the strings are rooted to that same track. Added a piano on top. Sick. 
same chords as before. These are just strummed using all S and then I strummed them backwards. I just heard this in my head and replicated it. Then these top notes. Da -da. Da -da -da. I usually hear a one note melody, so like this. I think it was the top melody for these. And then on the ones I need to build chords on, I build chords on. On the ones I don't need to build chords on, I don't. These are all the melodic parts together so far. This is making me want to levitate. This is making me want to ascend. Then I added this bass. It's kind of a bass solo, I guess. Had that, had this basic pattern, right? Right, had that basic pattern. And then I decided in these gaps, why don't I add like a little solo on top? So in some parts you hear that solo. For most of the years I was playing on my MIDI keyboard, just some random things, and then I quantized them, made them not as offbeat because <laughs> I don't have rhythm. During the end, I added some more melodic elements, so like this lead. Spent way too much time on this ARP lead type thing too. Clicked it all in and they alternate between this other string one. Play this on my Akai MIDI again. I added a bunch of effects to it, so super massive. This one was more as a delay, then this one was used more as a reverb. Splashy space preset. That lead, pan to the right, has pancake and super massive. So for the melody, I alternate between that harp and the lead. So that's basically pretty much it for all the melody parts. For the kicks and drums and stuff, added the same kick. Layered two snares on top of each other. This Igor theme snare, Lord of Squad snare. Added a bunch of reverb to that one. Added a hi-hat. Stretch it out. Then I added a little chant here. That's the classic title of the creator, yeah. And then I added these these what's with a lot of reverb. That's pretty much it. The what's and yeahs go until the end. This part's, I don't know, it's just heavenly. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I don't know what to say. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. It was really fun to make. I don't know why I'm standing up now, but I'm going to keep on standing up for this intro. You guys probably can't see me as well, but it don't matter. Maybe I could like squat down like this. Horse riding stance. Give myself a little workout. I've been sitting down a lot. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Probably not a good idea to do this over the beat. It's gonna be really hard to edit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. This will be like a blooper. Thank you guys for watching. I don't know why I'm standing now, but I am. Leave a like, comment what types of beats you want to see me do next. Subscribe. I need more subscribers just because I want them. Turn on those post notifications to see when I upload next. Have a great day and peace.